what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric guys today i want to show you a technique with the royal champion that utilizes one zap and one quake and it increases the effectiveness of your royal champion when you're using her to form a funnel and it's going to improve a lot of your different attacks namely dragons e-drags sui lalo you can use it with witches you can use it with a yeti smash there's so many different ways that we can use this strategy you could use it with a hybrid although generally the royal champion wants to go with the hybrid during that solve attack there so that's less common but any attack there the royal champion is going to be going in solo this technique is super super effective so what do we do well we put one zap and one quake to go and hit a multi inferno that makes so when the royal champion goes in even if it's a single inferno her ability can chain through and it can take down an inferno and it one shots it that is the key thing it softens up those buildings just enough that the royal champion ability can one shot them and then you take out the entire compartment is it is like i'm sure we've all been there when we send in a royal champion and we think all right well i just put a couple ice golems in front of her maybe use a freeze and we'll get in there and we'll take out the same inferno and then a grand skelly pops and then you're screwed right well not anymore with this technique you can go in there and pop the ability and not leave a whole bunch of structures at low health you're actually going to be able to destroy those structures so he formed the funnel for a dragon attack during this one he's able to easily sweep through with the dragons use the blimp to cross to the dragons a rage he's got balloons and another dragon to come out of his uh blimp and they take out that town hall and he can move on from there he even has a heal spell and i think a lot of the dragons ended up missing the heal spell Maybe just swagged it for the most part. The sweeper knocked it back there. Looks like the other dragon's got the sweeper down. He is able to get a little bit of extra value out of these blooms here. As the dragon's lock onto the road champion. And he takes some uh, red mines there. But I think the heal's worn off by then. So maybe the heal is swagged. And he has two freezes as well. So just a... A beautiful attack here from Madov coming in with dragons. He used his uh, Royal Champion to take out an Inferno and one air defense. His Queen got a couple of perimeter arch towers and another air defense. His King took a little hole in the wall there and took out another one. Just a couple of falling troops to push him into that hole. You could use Super Wall Breaker to push him in as well. But a lot of people are going to throw air defenses way, way wide on the base to try to get those air defenses away from more like a important defenses like scatter shots so that people can't have a hound anchor onto an air defense and have a have the scatter shot lock onto the hound and like waste its shots there when it could be going to balloons or something like that there's a lot of reasons why people put air defenses wide to the outside on the bases like that but dragon attacks in general can take advantage of it if you can find a way to get those air defenses down and when you can take out infernos on top of that using that raw champion ability then you can get a ton of extra value. It's like he uh, froze up some Teslas there with those uh, last couple freezes, and he's able to get the three star. So beautiful attack here by Madab. We're gonna dive into Urban Legends attack here, and then we're gonna go over to One High Prime, where we just had our Champion Warlike Elite Division War, and we'll see some awesome attacks over there as well, utilizing this technique. So Urban did a Drag Bat. And instead of bringing the extra three lightning spells to go grab backside air defense, he decided there wasn't enough splash damage on the opposite side of the base there where he's coming in from. And there's tons on the side that he's starting. So he starts in with the Royal Champion ability, pops the ability, able to take down all those structures. And he waits until the Royal Champion is going to have our next target be the one that chains through to hit the air defense and the Inferno before he pops it. So just hold it and know like plan out exactly how you want to or when you want to use that ability to make sure that the Royal Champion goes to the targets that you're actually trying to hit with that shield that you already zapped out. Like you got to get it to hit the Infernos, especially when it's a single Inferno. All right, so the Queen and the King come with an Ice Golem on the other side. And look at that, the King and the Queen together are getting about the same value as the Royal Champion got, except for they're going to grab the Queen on top of that. The King cleared a lot of trash on the outside. He didn't go in. He doesn't want to play, and he just uh, continues crossing the base there. But the Dragons are coming in right over his head anyways. Drops in a couple of blues to go catch some Black Mines in front of the Dragons. They'll move on ahead, and the King ended up taking a couple of the defenses, so I guess that worked out. But look at the funnel he formed. He's able to clear out both sides because the Royal Champion took out one section. The other heroes took out the other section, and now the Dragons have a tight funnel. Every single one of them is inside of the range there, which also makes 
so that they're going to be inside of the ward ability. He can uh, cross the blimp through the dragons and use the ward ability to protect it on its way across the base to the town hall. One more rage as it gets to the town hall. Drops out some dragons and some balloons there. The balloons obviously aren't going to last very long there, but the dragons able to take down the town hall. And the balloons do just uh, with the rage there. What? It's just a couple balloons, but it uh, gives just enough punch there to take down the town hall with the rage just to make sure you can get it down. You could go with sneaky goblins and... That's a little bit risky because you, if you have the CC right there and you never pulled it, you might have a hound or something like that in there. But if you know it's in the CC and you know it's already going to be all stuff that would be drawn to the dragons, then the dragons may have already dealt with it and you can safely use uh, sneaky goblins. But if you, if you want to take out the sneaky goblins and there's a, there's a hound or something in there or ice golems, then just have an archer down to draw the hound out of the way so that the hound doesn't have the dragons get locked onto it and end up popping while the dragons are under heavy fire. But either way, Urban Legend coming in here with a drag bat using that new technique to form his funnel with that road champion and absolutely crush this base. So very, very cool. Um, let's go look at the other war here and let's see what other attacks we have over there. All right, guys, I wasn't able to get into one hive prime because it's the middle of the night and nobody's around to let me in. So I came over here to double barrel red instead, where we just finished up our war double barrel red versus Ares for champion war league Phoenix division. And we got the perfect war. So huge shout out to the team. And I was pleasantly surprised to find out that not only did we use the strategy, but our opponent used it against us as well. So we're going to dive in here where assassin sniper came in with seven lightnings and two quakes. One of those lightnings and one of those quakes was used for the Royal Champion ability to make so she could go in here and take out a single inferno and form a funnel. And it was a very critical funnel and you're gonna see why in just a second. So obviously lots of value around this scatter shot over here, zaps it out, five lightnings, two quakes, a couple of the lightnings on both sides of the scatter shot, grabs a air defense and a sweeper. Then he sends in, let's go to half speed here. He sends in a couple of blues here to go snipe off the Archer Tower. That's going to make sure so the Royal Champion pops her ability. She's going to have it chained through to the Wizard Tower here and go over to the, the Inferno. So a little bit uh, risky there with how he decided to do the timing there. Probably could have prevented a little bit of the damage there on the Royal Champion by doing that in advance. But he does get down time there. Gets the Royal Champion to get a couple more buildings down. Able to get that Tesla. But look at this. With the Wizard down behind then he was able to form a funnel to have his heroes now go in. Now, the heroes, I think he was trying to go in here and pull the CC and deal with that as well and go all the way into the Eagle Artillery potentially. But uh, watch what happens with the Queen here. It's kind of kind of annoying. And uh, it's just Queen doing Queen things. So the Ice Golem comes in in front of them, pops, freezes up the Royal Champion. The Queen... I don't know why the queen hates those open corners. She will never ever take them and is so incredibly frustrating whenever you're doing any attack with her, the queen. That's why so many people leave those uh, open corners like that because the queen never goes into them. She'll sit there and avoid them forever. So he back, he uh, does a little backup plan there and he just goes in with a single balloon and gets it inside the middle range of the the uh, scatter shot there and is able to take it down ends up popping his queen ability she rocked, walked around found a different path to the artillery and he got it down so huge value out of the heroes here and now he has that hound running around and notice that he still has or had one lightning spell so he just draws the hound out of the way there with a couple archers or whatever ground troops he can just to get it out of the way it looks like uh it's going somewhere i don't know where it is right now i think uh following something oh it's following the headhunters it's following the headhunters right now i was like where's the hound going but he destroyed the enemy headhunters with a single lightning spell of his own that made so he doesn't have any freezes to go with his lalo which is a little bit dangerous that's all right he drops in sneaky goblins a yeti and a balloon to go snipe out the town hall often when we do this attack here depending on where the town hall is relative to the uh spaces around it if there's room for traps then we're going to go a little bit more conservative and we're not going to use sneaky goblins and a hound but if there's no room for traps we're definitely going to use sneaky goblins and a hound and we will get the extra value out of a hound to go tank for our lalo after it takes the town hall and we can just sweep the rest of the base so just a beautiful attack here Ex expertly dealt with the cc with that extra lightning to take out the headhunters just so they don't go after the warden and then he had the poison to go in there and deal with any other cc or to grab like air skellies or whatever he wants to use it for. I think this was a fresh attack here. So he he was able to get it down like that. So we're going to go over to the other side here because it was 
It was this attack against Assassin Sniper, where our opponent did a variation of this little technique here. Instead of going after a single Inferno, he brought one extra Lightning and he used it to go take out a scatter shot instead. So the setup for this was interesting, but it's all about making sure that the Royal Champion has a opportunity to pop her ability at the right time. So the shield goes and chains through the buildings that he already zapped. So he uses the lightnings, use the two lightnings to take out the sweeper. The quake hits the scatter shot. And the queen went and cleared out a lot of the uh, perimeter defenses. So when that road champion is ready to use her ability, it chains through the cannon. Like he was a little bit, of, a little bit of a race of time there before the queen took out the cannon. But he's able to get the chain through, and that with two lightnings in the quake was in being, it was able to be enough damage there to take out the scatter shot there. So he still has a queen ability. The queen ability can uh, pop there and take out the enemy royal champion, grab a little bit more funneling value. He can use his king on the outside and can shoot dragons into the base here. Now he's got bats for the backside. So what does he got for the far backside there? He's got the blimp to cross through and take out the town hall. All the splash damage being the other scatter shot, a sweeper that's pointing away and a multi throw in the middle is all on the side of the base there that the dragons are approaching from. So as, as long as that uh, blimp makes it to the town hall and crosses the entire base, which is a long way to go for the blimp, then the bats can easily sweep all those point defenses on the other side there, especially with all those ground expos. With all those ground expos, the bats are not going to get slowed down at all. Looks like the blimp does make it to the town hall. What do you have inside? Looks like he had some sneaky goblins and a dragon and a balloon. Which, uh, we talked, I think we talked about another attack there where I don't like to bring sneaky goblins when I do a dragon attack like that because it does pull the CC. And as you can see here, the hound ended up uh, coming out there and it popped and the dragons had to fight it. And we got the single inferno sitting there beating on them while they're trying to fight it. Luckily, he had the freeze there. He's got an ice golem as well. The ice golem's going to come down and go tank the last wizard tower. But he's out of spells at this point, so as long as the bats can make it through, the dragons can survive and he can get the three star here. So he is able to get it, but just really, really uh, cool. They're getting creative with the road champion ability using different spell combinations to take out different buildings, but forming the funnel while you're doing it to set up a lot of dragon attacks. Now, they did a, uh, they did a really interesting attack during this war, and I feel like I'm going to put it in another video. So I'll give you a little teaser for it right now and a couple of other attacks that they did. That we did as well but i'm just gonna give you like a quick flash of it so so you can see it and then join me back tomorrow and uh, you'll be able to see these but look at this yep those are super giants <laughs> super giants which is 10 lightnings and two quakes so be back tomorrow and You'll be able to see that one along with a couple other similar attacks there and mass witch attacks as well. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.